Hi guys, today I'm giving you a virtual walk around our freshly installed Mercedes GLA 200. It's the 1.6, this is the SE edition, finished in this gorgeous Jupiter red. As you can tell, lovely paintwork, looks great. Going down to the alloys, we have the 17 inch multi spoke alloys finished in silver. Give you nice Mercedes sensor cases on there too. Look really nice, a really good colour wear on the car with the chrome bits. Let's go to the front, have your Mercedes halogen headlights with daytime running lights. The nice chrome bits on the uh, grill and really looks great as well and all the trim on this splitter as well and fog lights. If we go to the side, you've got matching coloured wing bows to the body colour, but your indicators on there too and black housing. Lovely chrome trim along the bottom of the window. You've also got black B pillars and rear privacy glass and black roof bars. If we go to the rear, you have a nice little lip spoiler on the top with your brake light on. You also have nice rear tail lights, uh, very clear, especially in an evening. And you also have the nice diffuser, and a bit of chrome on the boot lid as well. If we go and open up the boot, uh, we'll press the button. The boot will open on its own. Really nice boot space, you can fit a lot in there. You also put the seats down, you can take the load space cover out for some more room. Uh, well, that's really nice, yeah, very clean as well. Just press the button and the boot will close. Let's go into the interior in the car. So you have the gorgeous full leather interior with white contrast stitching going through. Really comfy seats and very spacious. You can fit three people in there quite nicely. You've also got a little bit of storage space in the back there, as you can see. If we go to the front, you've got the nice full leather seats with your white stitching going through. Uh, so same style seats, but you've got um, a bit of lumbar support with these as well, so kind of hug you a bit more, which is really comfy and nice. If we get into the car, we'll uh, put foot on the clutch, press the stop start button because it's wireless key entry. The car will turn on. You've got a gorgeous full leather steering wheel with controls on either side. Uh, so you can see, yeah, you've got your stitching going through the inside as well. Uh, on this side, you've got your volume control, hands free, and voice command. Then on this side, you've got your different digital driving dash controls so you can go through your navigation, audio, everything. And you get all your different displays up, which is great. Um, so if you, we do actually have navigation with this car, but the SD card's not in until sale, uh, so you do actually have navigation as well, which is great. Moving down, if the last other door card do the same stitching to match the rest of the interior. Full electric automatic windows and the ability to lock the rear windows. You also have your electric wing mirror functions and then central locking too. You've also got your boot latch button down here. And if you're over to the side, you've got your automatic headlights, they turn on at night and they're off in daylight, and then you've got your side lights, parking lights, and dip beam and everything. We move over to the radio station and media display. Uh, control to these little quick panels here or down this button here. You've got a nice uh, radio, so you've got FM and AM. You can also get your own phone through uh, Bluetooth and USB, as you can see. Um, then you've also got, if you go there, you've got your hands free settings as well, so you can uh, speak through the car. Um, and really get um, to you have to pull over and be on your phone, which is really nice to have. Put the car in reverse, you see, you've got a nice rear parking camera uh, with parking sensors as well, which is great. If we move down, you've got your nice climate control, so you've got your temperature on this side, and you've got your defogging front and rear windscreens, uh, air conditioning where the air comes out of, and then the power of the air. We open up here, got a 12 volt storage space, two drinks holders, you can remove this if you want to make more storage space and your oil card holder in there. And then if you open up here, you've got two USB ports, one for screen mirroring, one for charging or uh, playing music through, which is great. So if you have any more questions about this car, please feel free to contact our sales team and potentially this could be your next new car. Cheers.